हेलो माय सेल्फ ग्यास एटीट्यूड ट्रेनर एट एसपी ग्लोबल सोल्यूशन ब्रांच हैदराबाद टुडे आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग एक्सप्लेनिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रिक फॉर द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस क्वेश्चन यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज इफ अ पर्सन सेल्स अ रेडियो एट रुपीस 800 ही मेक्स अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ 20% कैलकुलेट अ सेलिंग प्राइस फॉर व्हिच ही कैन मेक अ गेन ऑफ 50% That means he is selling rupees eight hundred. This is the selling price first, and he is getting twenty percent. That is profit is twenty percent. Okay. Now we have to find second selling price when he want to get fifty percent profit. For this type of question, there is a trick. Trick is what a selling price second equal to selling price first into hundred plus minus plus minus profit. And loss percent what second that is what we needed and next one hundred plus minus profit and loss first which is given in the first one. In this question you see we are making a profit of twenty percent and first selling price is eight hundred. So this is eight hundred into first he is making twenty percent profit or he want fifty percent. What one that means what he made it is the second. So here hundred plus is in the gain. So hundred plus fifty. If there is a loss, then hundred minus fifty. So here gain. So this is hundred fifty. Okay. And again here hundred plus my profit or loss one. In the first if they are getting twenty percent profit. So here twenty percent profit that is one twenty. Okay. So eight hundred into 150 upon 120. Now solve this. This zero and the zero is cancel out. And again you say four two is eight and four three is twelve. And this is three five is fifty. So five two is ten. So one thousand is correct answer. Eight hundred into one fifty by one twenty. This zero cancel out. Four two is eight twenty. Four three is twelve. Three five is fifty. Fifty. So fifty into twenty is one. If in the same question, because this question can be asked by three or four ways. Suppose this is a profit, this is a gain. Sometimes suppose this is a loss. This profit is loss. So if there is a loss, so if there is a loss of twenty percent, and then we have to find selling price to gain a fifty percent. So in this case, you say in the second case again. So that is a uh, second case. In second case, a selling price second equal to what? That is for selling price first is sale that is eight hundred. Okay. What do you want? Fifty percent gain. So there is a one hundred fifty. And in the previous one is getting a loss of twenty percent. So twenty percent is here hundred minus twenty. That is eighty. So eighty is here. Now eighty one is eighty. That is your answer is what fifteen hundred. That means if he sells his article in fifteen hundred, then he will get a profit of fifty percent. Okay. In the same way, suppose if this is the loss of twenty percent and this is a loss of twenty percent, but again any person don't want loss. Okay. Any person don't want loss. So if He is making a loss of twenty percent. He will want to minimize their loss. So suppose there is a uh, suppose there is a loss of ten percent. Suppose there is a loss of ten percent. So in this case, this is a loss and this is a loss. No problem. What we need? We need to minimize our loss percent. So in this case, you can see in the third case here, I am writing that is our third case. Third case is what? If that is selling price second equal to what? Your selling price first is sale. What you want? You want to minimize the loss of ten percent. So hundred minus ten, that is ninety. And again, what was previous loss of twenty percent? So hundred minus twenty is eighty. So this one eighty by eighty, that is nine. If he will sell his article at nine hundred. Then he will get only a loss of ten percent. Ten percent. In this way, you can find this type of question very easy. If you will go this question by a basic rule, 
it will take a lot of time because at first you have to find this is selling price and this is loss. So you find cost price again for the second case you find the cost price then you can find your selling price. It will take a lot of time. With the help of this tricky formula you can find your answer easily. Thank you.